Today, you're going to learn to solve this in less than two minutes. At the end of this video, you'll be able to solve one of these in under two minutes. So let's get started. You're going to need a Rubik's Cube first. If you want, you can just buy the old Rubik's brand one, or you could get a nice expensive Gan Cube. Or if you want to go cheap and simple speed cube, get the Moyu RS3M at Speed Cube Shop for only under $10. Some of the best speed cubers in the world use it. It's very good. I definitely recommend using that. If you would not like me explaining how this is done, you can skip to this part of the video to see the tutorial. The method I'll be teaching in today's video is called beginner CFOP. So let's just go through a walkthrough of what CFOP is and beginner CFOP. So first step of CFOP is make the white cross. So to do that, you want to find all of the white edges and put them on the cross. This is kind of something you have to figure out yourself and experiment with because it is not very easily teachable. So the next step in beginner CFOP is putting the corners in, in between all these edges in the right spots. So this one, it's already in the right spot. You can see this pairs up and this pairs up and this pairs up. So then I see this corner, put that in. And then we see this corner, it'd go down here. So I'd do some simple algorithms to put that in. And then this one right here, just go in that. Then the next step is to put edges with no yellow on it into these slots to make it a whole block. So before that, this was not in there, so now I can see this edge right here, which has no yellow on it, and it goes in this slot, so I'm going to do a simple algorithm to put that in. There we go. That green and red is in there. Now this one has no yellow on it. It goes in this slot, so I'm going to do a simple algorithm to put that one in. And then lastly, we got this one. It goes in here. Simple algorithm there. Now you have the first two layers. Uh, that part is a little more advanced, but by the end of this video you'll understand and be able to do that. Now the next part is we need to make a yellow cross on top. Now for this you only need to learn a few algorithms. This one here is very simple. So I just do a simple algorithm, solves the cross. And the next step after that you need to learn a few more algorithms to solve all the edges like we did on the bottom here. So I do an algorithm that solves the yellow. Now after that, we can see these two corners right here are in their spots, but these two are not. And you need to do another long algorithm to do that. Then after that, you can see all these corners are in the right spot. Now you can see the edges are not in their spot. So to do that, you just need to learn a simple algorithm, which can be done very fast, and it is finished. The tutorial, shall we? So first step, mix it up. Okay, now the actual first step is identify all the white edges. Okay, let me mix this up a little better. So, you got want to find all the white edges. Now, you can put all these white edges up to the yellow side, like this. This is called a daisy. And you just kind of have to experiment with this. And then, after that, you're going to pick an edge. You want to keep turning it until it lines up with its color. Then you're going to put that side down. Same thing with this. I'm going to keep lining it up until it lines up. And then that, this one, 
It's already lined up, so we'll do that. And then this one goes green, so we'll pair that up in there. So this is kind of intuitive. It's not easy, easily taught, so you kind of have to experiment and figure it out. It is very simple, though. All right, for the next step, we need to solve the corners, like this one here, or this one, which goes into a slot like that, and it pairs up. So to do that, you need to learn a few simple algorithms, but don't worry, they're not that long. You do not need to do very any memorization, very simple. So this is orange and blue, and this is orange and blue right here. White is on the side, so to do that, you just do R, U, R prime. And that's the same for the opposite tie side too, but just mirrored. So the other ones are like, um, like this, where it, the white is facing towards you. Now in this case, you could just turn the side like this and do the mirrored of the other one, or you could do U, R, U prime, R prime, that puts it in. Now, if you do not know how to read these letters up here, I just showed you, you can go check out my cube notation tutorial down in the description, or it's right up here. So go check that out if you haven't learned it already. So after seeing that, we can now solve these corners. So this one right here, so this is above its slot. It's blue or red and green. It's above red and green. White is facing towards us. So we do U, R, U prime, R prime, and that is now its slot. Okay, now this one where the white is facing on top. This one is basically just a combination of algorithms. So you'd basically just do move it up, do U-turn twice, then put that down, and then you would put it above it again, and this one is facing the side one, so you do R, U, R prime, U prime. Now for this one, you would just do R, just wait, it's on the side, so you do R, U, R prime. But there's one more case where it is already in the slot. So this is very simple. You can just take it out with one of those algorithms. It, does, it doesn't matter. It'll work with either one. So you just do an algorithm. And this is one that's facing towards us. So U, R, U prime, R prime. All right, so one more thing you could do for the case with the white on top is you can just keep repeating any of those algorithms. It should go in there. So you do R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime. And it is in there now, so that's another way you could do it. Just less confusing. Now it's time to put the edges in their slots. So there's this orange and blue, and it goes in here. So you have to learn a few algorithms to put it in there. I'll leave all the algorithm in, algorithms in the description, just so you don't have to keep scrolling through the video. It's more easy. So, for this one right here, it goes over into the right slot. So first, you find one with no yellow on it. You want to keep turning it until it pairs up with a color, the front side. So, in this case, the top color is green and the right color is green. So, you'd want to do the right side. So, the, case, the algorithm for the right side case is U, R, U prime, R prime, U, F prime, U, F. Now for this one, just a second. This one is still the right case. Uh, I mean, get it so it's not the right case. So this one, it's lined up with orange. Top color is green, and the F left color is green. So the algorithm for the left case is U prime. L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And that puts it in its slot. So now the last one is right here. So the front side is blue. We're going to bring it over to the blue side. And in this case, it's red on top. So, and red is the right. So you do the right side algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime, U, F, U, F prime. After that, you got the first two layers done. Hopefully that was not confusing. 
Now it is time for two look OOL. Two look OOL is a two step OOL. OOL is just one algorithm to solve all the white side. But in this case, we are just going to be doing the first time here, we're just going to be solving the edges. So this is two look, the first step. So we're going to head over to the algorithm cube. And now, the first case. This one is where there just is a bar across the top. And do not focus on the corners. Only look at the edges. So this one, there's just a bar across the top. Now you can do this from this angle or this angle. But not from this angle or this angle. You want to do it from when it's a bar across the top. Not a pull, a bar. So you're going to do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now the next case is an L shape with the edges. Remember, do not look at the corners. This one is an L shape. But for this one, it is not an L shape in the position that we have to do the algorithm. Algorithm position is this right here, where the two edges are right here. Just remember where they're at by looking at me in this cube. So for this one, it's pretty much the same thing, but with a big F move, R, U, R prime, U prime. F prime wide, and that solves all the edges. Now the final case for the edge, edge OLL. This one has no edges at all. This one's pretty much a combination of both the algorithms we just learned. So, F, R, U prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, or F prime, I mean. And then we got this case. So, it's R, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that solves the edges. Now, that one you could do from any angle you want. So, we're going to head over back to this cube now. So we got the L-shaped one. We're going to put it right over here. Do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. There, now we got that. Now just so everybody knows, you can, you can actually do all these algorithms with only using one of them. So let's say, um, this case, I only know the bar one, the bar algorithm case. I can just do the bar algorithm case, and it gives me one, so this kind of takes experimental stuff, but it actually requires less algorithms. So if you want to do that, it will only require three algorithms for you to learn. Yeah, no, actually four. No, five. Yeah, you have to learn five algorithms at the minimum to be able to solve this. Now going on to corner OLL. So... Um, to solve this it is just solving all the corners. So they point up and then your yellow is solved. So the first case on this is soon. Now this is the one that you can use any algorithm on. Or you can use this to solve anything. <laughs> so this one is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now that one is very simple. There's one called anti soon too, so that is this one. Easy way to remember these is fish shape. So this one is where the yellow's facing the side, and you want to put it like this angle. So R U two R prime U prime R U two U prime R prime, and for soon the yellow corner is just facing towards you not to the side, because I forgot to describe that. So, so like I was saying, soon can solve any case. So you should want to keep doing the soon algorithm until you come up with the soon. Just keep rotating the cube. It kind of takes a while too sometimes. Here, we got soon now. So you do soon algorithm, but when you get the soon algorithm, make sure it is not anti soon. If you do get anti soon, you just do it at this angle. Just do regular soon. And then now you got soon. 
There, moving on to two corners that are unoriented. So, this one is, I don't know what you would call it, just two of them are done uh, across from each other, like that. So for this one, you want to hold it at this angle. So there's not really an easy way to describe it, but you would have the white facing towards you and not to the side. So that tells you you're at the right angle if it's facing towards you. So this algorithm for this is F R prime F prime R wide U R U prime R prime. Now this one also has two corners. It's pretty much the same algorithm, but reverse as the last one. So this one has another case like it. It's exactly the same shape like that, but the corners are different. But on this case, the corners are sticking outward instead of forward. So you would do R wide, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. Now here's that other case where it looks like a tree or mushroom, but this one, they're sticking out like that. So you're going to put the headlights things to the back, and you want to do this algorithm. R2, D prime, R, Q2, R prime, D, R, U2, R prime. Now that one can be a little tricky. I don't know if it's speed, it's a speed cube algorithm because I forget the other one I used. That's the only one I know. Now these next two are getting a little tricky and a little longer, and they have no corners oriented right. Now for this one, there is one sticking forward and one sticking outward. The other one, there's both sticking out like that. This one they have one sticking forward and one sticking outward. So for this one. You're going to have these sticking over on this side, and these over on this side. So, this one is R, U2, R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R. Now that one can be done really fast if you do it right. Now here's that one where both the corners are sticking outward. So, for this one, you can hold it at this angle, or at this angle, but not at this angle. So, you're going to do R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. Now that one is a little bit longer, I don't know if I can, I can't do it as fast, but it's fast. Okay, now full example of OLL. To look, so we got the L shape one. We're gonna put it down here. We're gonna do this algorithm. Now we got this one where they're across from each other. We're gonna have the one pointing forward at us. We do the algorithm. There. Now moving on to PLL. So to look PLL is the first step is making sure all the corners are in the right place. So we can see here. These two corners are in the right place because they are lined up, and these two colors are the same. But these two are not. You can turn it, it will line up, but none of the others are lined up. So, that means these two need swapped. Now, a swapping algorithm for this is R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, or U, R prime, F prime, and now all the corners are done. There's one more algorithm, but you can just use this algorithm if you want. It will take an extra turn, though, if it's the other case. Now, the next case, you can turn it however you want. Oh, you can turn it however you want, but no two are the same, but... These two here, this one and this one, do line up, but they are across from each other. So you can do this algorithm from any angle you like, except from going downwards or to the side, just this side, like that. So this algorithm is F, R, U prime, R prime, U 
prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime you have now learned how to solve the corners now it's on to edge permutation edge permutation still has long algorithms but is the final step now this one you can also just use one of the algorithms so you can use any of them if you want doesn't matter so for this one the edges are going clockwise so this one right here is red it would go here this one's blue it'd go here and that goes in a clockwise motion this one's back here solved so for this one you would do r2 u r u r prime u prime r prime u prime r prime u r prime now the other case of that is when it's going counter counterclockwise so here's red red goes here green goes here and blue goes here now this one is r u r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2 now these next two is when all of them are unsolved what you can see here blue is here and green is here now these are opposite colors so and this one's opposite opposite colors too so when it goes across and goes across this is called an h perm so this one you need to do m moves which is basically with your fingers down here pushing up so for this one it would be m2 u m2 u2 m2 u prime m2 and that is one that's a very very simple m2 algorithm now this next one isn't so simple. It's so where these two swap and these two swap. The way you can figure this out is it's just these two colors on one side and these two colors. For this one, you're just going to want to have these two colors on your right hand side. So you're going to do M prime U M2 U prime M2 U prime m prime u2 m2 u i'm sorry if i messed up on any of the language there i'll leave always the word the notation up here so congratulations you are now able to solve this okay so we have one final thing to do we still haven't finished this so i can see these two right here are the same color so we're gonna pair them up and from the side, we're going to do this algorithm. Now we got this one where it's just these two swap, these two swap. So I hope you learned how to do it. It's simple, but at first, it is very hard to learn. Just keep that in mind. Example solve. All right, so there's a piece here, piece here, piece here. Now, I'm gonna set my timer. So I'm gonna make the daisy. All right, so I can see this one's already paired up. So I'm gonna put that down. Now I'm gonna do the orange, so pair that up, put it down. Now we're gonna do blue. Blue's right here, we're gonna put it down. And red is paired up already, so we'll put that down. Now I see this corner right here. So it's orange and green. Move that over. R, it's a side case, so R, U, R prime. We got this one. So it goes above this slot. So we're gonna do U, R, U prime, R prime. Now I see this corner. And this one goes right here, so it's on side case again. R, U, R prime. Now this one's in here, so we're going to do R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. Now, this one has no yellow on it. It's already paired up. This goes to the green, so this is a right-hand case. So we're going to do the algorithm. Now, this one has no yellow on it. Paired up with red. It's the left-hand case. So we're going to do this algorithm. 
Now this one, so I paired it with blue, has no yellow on it. It goes over here to the left hand, so we're gonna do the algorithm for that. Now this is the final one. It's green the front face, and then do the algorithm. Now we got the T, or the, the bar one. Now this one actually gives us a corner skip. And then we got this swap. Under two minutes. So if you're looking to become a speed cuber, um, something used to, so you'd normally just put the corner in, right? So besides doing that, you can find the corner and the edge and set them up like so and do them both at once. Now I'll leave a link to how to do this in the description. It is called F2L or first two layers. It's where you solve them both sim the corner and the edge simultaneously so and also if you want to become a speed cuber um put this up for display because you want to buy something else if you go cheap mo you rs 3m and you probably want to buy you want to buy lubricant for it too because it'll wear out the plastic if you don't so i'd recommend buying like lunar or something off speed cube shop it will it's not that pricey it's actually very good too right speed for everything this it leads us to thanks for watching if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll be happy to answer and before you go would you like to see magic trick so i got this 4x4 four four and i really want a 5x5 five five, so all you gotta do is spin it what a 5x5 five five. let's go